Hi everybody, Ray again. Today we're at my machine shop and we're making something out of this chunk of steel. You see this? It is a heavy chunk, about 30 pound chunk of steel for Matt Cremona. Uh, I'm going to put a link to his YouTube video down in the description of this video. He is building this awesome uh, homemade bandsaw mill. Unbelievable. And we're lucky enough to be able to make the shaft for his bandsaw mill out of this chunk right here. In this video, I'm going to show you how we did it. First things first, we got to make sure it's concentric in the chuck. Next step is to face it off. taken off just a little tiny bit so now in order to put a center in it we've got to use a center drill it matches the angle of the tailstock center here we are on the lathe taking some roughing cuts you can see we're working down the diameter where we'll eventually be threaded. Let's take a look. This one's for you, Matt, so you can see the machine that we're running this on. This is the machine that we're running the two and a half inch diameter to make the bandsaw shaft. Let's take a better look. It's about to pull back and make another pass. And uh, we'll come back periodically and check on the progress. Here we go. We're making the final passes. You can see it's just barely taking anything off. We're getting that 2 and 7 sixteenths diameter. You can see these are telegraphing right here where some of the grooves are going to go. While this is running the last groove, you can see this end has already been turned down. Next step is threading. But look at the radius. That radius in the corner, that's important because that prevents the stress from breaking. It'll crack right there at the corner if you leave it square. So we always like to make sure to put a radius in those corners. This is the final pass on the diameter, bringing it to two inches going to come into the corner, make the radius, and then break the edge. Now we're doing the threading cycle. inch side. Matt wanted two inch 12 threads. It's a big nut. It's a beautiful fit right off the machine. 
And now to the mill. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching how we made this bandsaw shaft for Matt Cremona. Matt, thank you very much for the opportunity to make this for you. It was a ton of fun. And I hope you guys had as much fun watching as I did. Uh, this side right here, as you can see, we had to make for a castle nut. And that's not even the big one. Check out this nut. Yeah, check out the nuts on this guy. And there you have it. And don't forget, I've got a link to Matt Cremona's YouTube channel in the description of this video. Thank you all for watching. Please don't forget to like the video, share it while you're here, leave a comment, and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on all my future videos.